Hi students, hope all of you have written very well today's costing paper. Let us have a quick review of today's exam paper that is CA Inter Cost and Management Accounting May 20th, 2025. Overall review what I can say except one question remaining paper is very easy. Now I am going to start with the MCQ parts. Part 1, first question sir, is service costing. Calculate absolute 10 kilometers. Summation of distance travelled into load. Next, commercial 10 kilometers sir. Total distance travelled in a whole journey into average load. So, that is the problem, sir. So, one important note, sir. Most of the questions are covered in masterminds materials. Same question covered in MM material. Next, marginal costing, sir. So, here PV ratio is given. Next, if the ratio between material and labor is 5 is to 3, so increase in selling price as a percentage that the company shall keep to maintain PV ratio 12 percent, assuming variable overhead as nil. So, in this case, please calculate this one, sir. the forecast of labor cost and material cost. So, this is the marginal costing, sir. Next, to third one process costing. So, here process costing model 2, sir. So, work in progress units also available, sir. So, you are required to calculate the normal loss percentage and the value of abnormal gain. How to calculate normal loss percentage, sir? Normal loss divided by input into 100, then we will get the percentage, sir. Next to value of abnormal gain. So, first to calculate the unit price then multiply with the abnormal quantity, abnormal loss, then we will get the abnormal, sorry, abnormal gain. So, in this problem, clearly mentioned normal loss percentage value of abnormal gain. So, definitely actual output is more than the expected output. Sir. So, this is a very simple question. Next, the fourth one, sir, this is budgetary control, sir, budgetary control question. Next, fifth question, sir, cost accounting systems. So, here during a particular period, material worth 30,000, 20,000 were issued to production. During a particular period, material worth 30,000 and 20,000 were issued to production factory maintenance respectively. The following control accounts are being maintained. Generally, material issued to production working progress control account debit to Metal control account, sir. Next, the metal issue to factory maintenance, so that is the factory order control account debit to source ledger control account or raw metal control account. So, the following control accounts are being maintained source ledger control account, work in progress control account. So, 1 and 2 is the answer, sir. Just to pass the general entries, observing and take the answer. Next, case scenario 1, sir. This is the Related to material cost control chapter, sir. So, in our classroom, same problem, sir, but material name is castings. Material name is casting, sir. Your numbers just change, sir, but same delivery time in days. Delivery from supplier generally takes 6 days, but it can take as much as 10 days. So, your percentage of occurrence also given. Same problem, sir. Material cost chapter, first example, sir. Same question, sir. So, dead easy question, sir. Next, case scenario, second question, sir. This is the budgetary control question, sir. So, and also required marginal costing knowledge also required, sir. So, this is the very important question. Also covered in MM material, sir.
So your sales finish will stock increase by year end. Post production rejection rate, iron usage in KS, iron wastage. So your required bits you can easily answer that sir. So this is the first part, MCQ part. So you can easily answer this sir. Next second part sir. First question is also very very easy sir. Part two, one A, marginal costing sir. Here <coughs> cost details are given. Next the price structure, price structure details are given. Units also given. So some conditions are changed. Allocate the minimum number of units to be sold to maintain the same rate of profit per unit financially year. Same per unit profit sir. So first of all calculate the Last time per unit profit, sir. Same profit also maintained in 2025-26. So, desired profit is given, then desired sales volume. So, here ignore further effects on fixed cost is very, very important. So, this is same, this is marginal costing problem, sir. Next, B point, B, 1B, giant and byproduct, sir. Your giant cost allocation, allocation on net realizable value method. So, calculate NRV values, final sale value minus further processing cost, then we will get net realizable value. So, very, very simple question. Next to C bit, sir, employee cost. Uh, in employee cost to content to employee turnover, sir. So, workers at the beginning of the period, workers at the end of the period are given in the problem. Then you should calculate average number of workers during the period. Next, apply employee turnover rate using the separation method, sir. So, first of all, calculate the number of separations. Here, calculate employee turnover rate using replacement method, sir. So, here opening employees given, closing employee. Number of workers replaced during the period 78, sir. So, replacements, number of replacements 78. Number of workers left and discharged during the period 28. So, please observe, sir. This is not opening and closing. So, this is number of workers replaced during the period. So, that is the number of replacements 78 workers. Number of workers left and discharge. That is separations 28, sir. Employee turnover rate using separation method 3.5 percent. So, under separation method, LTR equal to number of separations divided by average number of workers. Average number of workers. So, substitute the values, sir. Find out the missing values. So, next uh, replacement method, calculate the employee turnover rate under replacement method. Under replacement method, LTR equal to number of replacements divided by average number of workers into 100. Next to flux method, sir. So, flux method means flux 2, sir. Operations plus replacements plus number of new recruits divided by number of average number of workers. So, it also can easily answer this question. Sir. So, first question 1A, 1B, 1C. Simple, sir. Next, 2A, cost sheet, sir. Here, two products details are given. You are required to prepare the cost sheet for the financially 2024-25, sir. So, cost sheet discloses prime cost, works cost, cost of production, cost of goods and cost of sale. And also, calculate per unit selling price of each model. So, here maintain two columns, product one, max, second, uh, second column, pro. So, just like iPhone, max iPhone pro. So, Collect the details, direct middle cost, direct labor cost, direct expenses. So, before going to preparation of cost sheet, first we have to calculate some working, sir. So, works overheads is 50 percent of labor cost, office overheads is recorded to 20 percent of works cost. That means, here overhead recovery rates also given. Selling and distribution overheads is 20 and 30 per unit sold for the model pro and model max respectively. So, first calculate the Certain working or sir. Next, prepare the cost sheet and compare with the 
and also rate of profit is also given sir so add profit then we get sales divided by number of units we'll get the selling price per unit so also very easy question next to b employee cost sir so presently company workers are placed in time rate system now companies introduce the either halse or rowan sir so because of com because of employer promise next month production friends are here actual production during the 12500 years so hourly rate of wage 30 so as per company past experience one unit standard time equal to 2.5 hours number of working days in a month 25 number of working hours per day of each worker 8 same question sir in our material 12 1250 units sir but in the question paper 12500 just multiply with 10 same question sir same pattern so here required first calculate the effective rate of earnings under halsey scheme and rowan scheme next calculate the increased labor efficiency on introduction of the incentive schemes next calculate the savings to plastic company in terms of direct labor cost per unit under the both the schemes so first of all calculate piece rate per piece next to calculate piece rate under halse scheme next to calculate piece rate under rowan scheme then you can easily calculate savings per piece under halse savings per piece under rowan so advise the company about the selection of the scheme to fulfill their assurance so please check it sir so here assurance is 15 percent increase over the present earnings so in which scheme this assurance is fulfilled so please check it sir so you can easily answer this question next to 3a abc sir activity based costing so here four activities are given next to driver names also given next to cdq values next to cost full amounts directly given sir you can easily calculate cost driver rates cost driver rates here question is asking compute the cost allocated to each product from each activity on the basis of activity based costing method next calculate the cost of unused capacity for each activity so here budget capacity is directly given sir here actual usage capacity also given then calculate the unused capacity unused capacity into rate that is the cost of unused capacity sir so you can easily calculate this question so in our material just crd4 sir same same type of question next 3b service costing sir so this is movie service sector sir that is cinema theater here cinema theater contains three types of seats classic to prime recliner so here questioner is asking calculate equivalent to classic seats per day so immediately converted in converted classic so here prime seats convert into classic recliner seats convert into classics so simply follow the equivalent approach simply follow the equivalent approach next calculate the ticket prices of all three types of seats so you can easily answer this question sir just like uh, uh, that is uh, thing, uh, single single rooms double rooms triple rooms just like that but here this is model is different this is the movie movie theater sir but approach is same equivalent approach so equivalent approach sir you can easily answer this question next fourth question that is cost accounting reconciliation sir so here company showed a net loss of 9000 as per their cost accounts for the year ended 31st march 2025 but financial books disclose net profit of 7000 for the same period so here transactions also given in the problem so prepare the reconciliation statement here one important note a reconciliation statement taking net loss as per the cost account please start with the cost books and find out the financial books amount sir here amount already given in this problem so easy problem sir next b a manufacturing unit using standard costing system and the following information was obtained from its records so dead dg sir here working days are given production volumes are given fixed over demos given variable overheads are given calculate the following overhead variances variable overhead variance means variable overhead cost variance 
So, here please follow the output basis because here there is no discussion about the hours. So, simply follow the output basis sir. So, here variable overhead rate per unit. First of all calculate variable overhead rate per unit. Next variable overhead cost variance formula absorbed variable overhead cost minus actual variable overhead cost. Absorbed variable overhead cost how to calculate sir? Simple actual output into rate per unit minus actual VOH cost. Apply the values. You can easily answer this question. Next, fixed overhead cost variance, same procedure, but rate, fixed overhead rate per unit. So, fixed overhead rate per unit, how to calculate, sir? 48,000 divided by 4,800, so 10 rupees. Now, easily calculate the budget uh, fixed, fixed overhead cost variance, absorbed fixed overhead cost minus actual fixed overhead cost. So, actual output 4,560 into 10 minus 46,800. Then take the variance. Next, fixed word expenditure is dead DG, sir. Budget fixed word cost 48,000 minus actual fixed word cost 46,800. The difference is called expenditure variance. Next, volume variance. So, here unutilized volume 4,800 minus 4,560. That is unutilized volume into rate per unit. That is FOH rate per unit. So, you can easily answer this question. Next, calendar variance. Here, calendar variance favorable, sir. Here, budgeted calendar days 25 days but actual calendar days 27 days so days increase definitely answer is favorable sir so simple question sir is the six marks question next to process costing sir so equivalent units of production for each product next to the molding cost per equivalent unit to next to close cost of closing working progress of finished products so this is also very easy sir this is very easy problem so, here no opening work in progress, just only closing work in progress, sir. So, do not apply the FIFO or weighted average. Here, no opening work in progress, only closing work in progress. So, this is very, very easy problem. Next, distinguish between job costing and batch costing, sir. In job costing, different customers, different specifications, so no two works are same. In that case, cost ascertaining program is called job costing. Examples printing press, automobile workshop, ad agency, these are the examples. Batch costing, sir. So, all costs are charged to a group of products that is called batch costing. Example pharmaceutical industry, FMCG sector. So, that is the distinguish between job costing and batch costing. So, it is very, very simple. Three marks question, sir. Next, budgetary control, sir. This one very lengthy question. So, this is the budgetary control question, sir. So, time taking question. Except this question, remaining all questions are very, very easy, sir. Next. 6A, sir. This is the following independent situations identify the type of cost and state whether it is relevant or non relevant in managerial decision making. So, this is introduction to cost and management accounting. So, this is also a very easy question. Next, this is this question is related to ABC activity based costing, sir. Next, C, this question related to process costing. So, briefly, the methods of valuation of work in progress followed in process costing. So, that means FIFO method and weighted average method. Next, complete the list of functions given below and identify each one of them. With the most relevant to scope of cost accounting, this is also related to introduction to cost and management accounting, sir. So, finally, except to one question that is 5C, remaining all questions you can easily answer this answer, sir. So, this is the analysis, sir. Review. Okay, all the best. Next exams.